सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ बी टेन एक्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली वेल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल सी एन एंड टू एंड डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ हाउ टू यूज द डेटा रोबोट ए आई प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर प्रिडिक्टिव ए आई सोल्यूशन अक्रॉस द बिल्ड ऑपरेट एंड गवर्न द स्टेजेस सो विल बी यूजिंग द फ्लाइट डिले यूज केस फेर योर ए आई विल बी एबल टू प्रिडिक्ट द फ्लाइट डिले दैट माइट हैपन टू योर फ्लाइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इन दिस वीडियो एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू नो दैट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दीज ए आई टूल्स वी हैव एन ए आई टूल्स वर्कशॉप दैट इज जस्ट अवेलेबल फॉर नाइन रुपीज यू कैन चेक दैट आउट द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो नाउ इफ यू आर समन बिलो ट्वेंटी परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज बिकॉज यू हैव एट अपड इनफ एंड इट इज बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एडिंग दैट मच वैल्यू टू योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू गेट एटी टू थ्री हंड्रेड परसेंट सैलरी हाइक इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज पॉसिबल इफ यू लर्न एंड इफ यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग ए आई टूल्स एंड चैट जीपीटी फॉर डूइंग योर वर्क so most predictive ai solutions with data robot will have these core processes and assets with the processes identified in the blue and the assets in white what you will see in the demonstration is the wrangling process to generate the model training data and then we'll use the data robots automation to create multiple models that we can compare side by side third we'll select one model and send it through the model registration process once registered we'll configure the deployment and deploy the model then we'll interact with that deployment by sending some new data through it as a scoring job and retrieving the future predictions the data set we'll be using is small so we'll run through all the five steps in less than 1 hour of machine time with about 10 minutes of human input required and the use case that i have already told you we'll be using to show the process is predicting flight delays and please note that that this is the sample use case that is preloaded for the free trial users fully functional trial access is available at the data robot we will execute this use case in the graphical user interface and we'll go through all the five stages and all you have to do is import it and click one button to run it and let's get started now i'm inside the data robot workbench and i have created a use case called flight delays if you are using the trial version you will have these two data sets in all caps if not you can get this csv files from the s3 bucket I have already added the CSV files by selecting Add and then Data. Notice that they have the same number of rows and same number of features, but the preloaded data is sourced from Snowflakes. This will allow us to perform data wrangling and push down the compute into Snowflake. If you use some other data warehouse, it works the same way. We have pulled a live random sample from the data warehouse and are displaying some basic exploratory data analysis. The first step in the process is wrangling. Here I can add various operations and save them as a recipe. My recipe could be one step long or could be twenty-five steps long. When I publish it, I'll create a new data asset and I'll go ahead and do that. And before moving ahead, I just want to have a small talk with you. Nowadays, you all might know that AI is taking over the world, and in just a short span of time, you have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and what not. And and I believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well I can assure you that an AI won't replace you but the person using AI will surely so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our 3 hour AI tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill yourself increase your productivity and also enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now so now let's continue the video here's my new feature and I can view its distribution When I publish, I'll create a new data asset. This is a key part of the governance process, and I can choose between publishing to the data registry or back to the original data warehouse. I'll choose the data registry. I now have created a registered data asset associated with my use case. Let's use this as a training data and begin the modeling process. What you are prompted to do now is set up a new experiment. This will require providing the target feature at the moment. So we are building a binary classifier to predict delays greater than 30 minutes. As the data scientist, I have several choices to make about the optimization metric. Although data robot has helpfully recommended some for me and about the training feature list, these are all configurable. Notice that the parameters of the experiments have been automatically recorded for lineage audit and repeatability. To show you the comprehensive nature of model search, I am going to choose comprehensive autopilot and then click next. Here there are additional choices for the advanced users to make. If you are novice user, know the data robot automatically defaults into best practices. I'll accept the default of a 20% holdout and a five and a five fold cross validation and hit start modeling. What you are seeing now is the comprehensive autopilot that runs on fast forward 
it's almost comical fast at this speed but i wanted you to see it's all important that you realize that this is a fully automated process data robot understands the data that you have supplied and designs the blueprints including the pre-processing steps and the modeling algorithm applying our advanced heuristics we manage all the compute kicking off new jobs on the right side every time an existing jobs complete during the autopilot i could choose the walk away or i can interact with any of the completed models selected from the left hand side while the autopilot still runs what you are seeing here is a form of extreme time saving for your data science team your team does not need to study upon the intricacies of all these techniques to be able to evaluate them on your data sets it's a bit mesmerizing to watch but it's coming to an end now so we can continue with our process the model building process is now complete and now we have 40 total models to compare side by side they are currently sorted by log loss but I could sort them by another optimization metric if I prefer. I can also filter these models based on the sample size or based on the model family. For each model in the list, the same detailed information is available such as the blueprint, the future impact, the ROC curve and the lift chart. All of the experiment info is recorded for governance and lineage tracking purposes including the data set used and the features list. On the compare tab, I can select multiple models. Let's take a look at the three most accurate and I can place these side by side. Right now, we are looking at a single experiment and so the settings for each of these are identical. But the comparison mode can also be used to compare across experiments with the different initial settings. Placing models side by side makes it easier to compare their blueprints, their performance and other information such as the accuracy metrics or the feature impacts. And now let's back and now, now let's go back to the experiment. We'll notice one model which has been prepared for deployment. This is the one train on the full sample size of 100% using frozen parameters learned from the earlier runs. Let's accept that this model is the winner and proceed to the next step in the process which is to register the model. Here I can provide my own names for the model and for the version. Note that I can also specify whether I am adding a version or creating a new registered model. And since it's my first time running the use case, I'll create a new registered model. But if I was going to update this next week, I would add a new version. Tags are also very helpful to keep your work organized. Let's accept the defaults and go ahead and register this model. I have all my registered models over here on the left hand side. When I expand them and I see all the versions, you can see that the data robot has automatically recorded all of the ID numbers, all of the settings and all of the parameters used when creating this model. All the information is recorded without any additional typing and is available for inspection for anyone who shares this use case folder. The next and the final step is to deploy the model. You have several options here which are out of scope. The downloadable file provides a model package that contains all the necessary artifacts to deploy a model outside of the data robot environment. But for today's tutorial, we will deploy inside data robot. In this view, we configure the deployment including the prediction environment and any advanced option that put in. I'll go ahead and accept the defaults and deploy the model. What you are seeing here is what we call our one-click deployment process. If you have never heard, if you never had to deploy a machine learning model to production before, you may not realize that this takes two to four weeks in a typical organization. This deployment was created in under one minute. It can be used immediately for batch and real-time prediction and offers comprehensive monitoring, retraining challenges, reporting and notification. To conclude the demonstration, let's make some batch prediction. At this point, it would be more common to set up a job definition. If I want to use batch prediction, I would connect this job to the original data warehouse as the source of the data. And I can choose the same data warehouse or an alternate destination for the final prediction. For testing purpose, let's just do some scoring in the UI. I'll choose the file that came along with this use case. It's the one that's scoring in the file and there are 824 rows to score. Let's compute and download those predictions. The file is ready to download. Let's take a quick look inside the file. In this case, we are making predictions for January 29 for some early AM departures. Column A gives us the probability that the file that the flight will be more than 30 minutes delayed and column A and B will column A gives us the probability that the flight will be more than 30 minutes delayed and column A and B will always sum to one. So you, so you can interpret column B as the probability that the flight will not be 30 minutes delayed. Most of these 5 and 6 AM departures look like they are likely to take off on time. But let's scroll down into mid-morning as we get into 7.30 and beyond. We see a lot of flights with the least one-third probability of being delayed including this 45% probability for this flight from Seattle to France, San Francisco. Now I built this solution based on a very small date and said it's not very accurate because our log loss was in the 0.5 range. But hopefully you can see a solution like this trained on a longer data set and it could be immediately useful. Having this, having make prediction for the upcoming three days, let's go back to the employment. But hopefully you can see a but you can but hopefully you can see how a solution like this 
is trained on a larger data set and could be immediately useful and guys like this is how you can build your predictive ai models using the help of the data robot ai platform and guys that is it for this video i hope you like the video and if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and also do comment if you have any doubts and subscribe to our channel b10x and do remember that if you are interested in these ai tools we have an ai tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees so you can check that out and i will see you in the next video until then bye bye